Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here. And as usual, I have some of my PML friends here. And we are about to start some tournaments, but let's go ahead and introduce ourselves real quick. We'll go ahead and go with Morgan. Oh, the fucking birds are coming in hot. <laughs> fucking crack birds, high as a goddamn tight. What's up, dude? <laughs> I'm, I'm Morgan. Uh, I go by Morgan Oko. That's M O R G A N O H K O. You can find me under all handles under M O R G A N O H K O. Make sure you watch my games this season. The, the Tennessee Crackbirds were high as fuck. We're oh, high. when did David get <laughs> here? <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, next up we got Stuart. Let's go. Yo, how's it going? I'm Stu down here in NZ, representing PML as usual. Mm. That's all I got. All right, next up we got Jesse. Yes, it's me, Jesse, your announcer, who's looking to get that first win. I swear, I'm, I be, I don't pay these guys enough to lose to me. I gotta up it up. You don't pay us at all. You add you, you add you a big win. <laughs> yeah. All righty, and lastly but not leastly, I am your host again, Joe Zamora. You can find all my stuff on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and Facebook under Zamora Gaming. Twitch is Zamora Gaming Forty Three, and also just hopefully y'all enjoy everything and all the content. And we're gonna go ahead and start with Mew. This week we have Mew with the ability Synchronize, Typing of Psychic, and stats all across the board are one hundred. Good bet. All right, I, I need to say that our intros this week were weak. No, not good. Okay. Not good intro. We introduced the crack bird. Yeah, the, the bird. The bird, I feel like, I don't know. I like oh, I'm sorry. Let me get my signature sound for next week. I'll go work on that. <laughs> what, sign, what sound do you get? What kind of sound do you have? I don't what know. Probably be like a, a great whale or something like that. Just, That's going to be a big pot noise. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, because I'm crap. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. That's oh, the, the, the nice timing. <laughs> you need a funny. <laughs> and uh, th th uh, I already got Stuart's sound right here. <laughs> because you want to fuck his face. Um, oh, yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's oh, down God. now. Sorry. I do. I want to. All right, guys. Well, Maybe three times. <laughs> This week we have. If it's Mew. good, we can make it a regular thing. Stop! Don't don't interrupt me when I'm trying to seduce Stuart. This is, this is he's got 15 minutes to explain his team. Give him his time. <laughs> I've got 15 minutes to try and coerce Stuart into moving to the states and becoming so, a part of my life. Are you gonna give me a green card? That's exciting. Yeah, Morgan. <laughs> no, you, Mor dude, you don't want to come here. Never mind. Let's Mor carry on. Carry Mor on. Morgan's gonna add a kiwi <laughs> to the crack bird squad. Yeah. Um, just the, the question is, why aren't you in the Italiana chat yet? Ooh. I am. I've been in it. I see. Everyone else is. I see everybody. Oh, Jesse. Oh, my oh, Jesse. Jesse. God. It's because Jesse is so excited there about is. talking about Mew. Jesse, what is the facts Ooh. that you got on Mew this week? Oh, yeah. For Mew? Okay. So Mew is really cool because it was like the godfather of all the Pokemon, and it's like literally the father Mew too. Isn't that neat? But Mew doesn't have a gender, so it could be the mother as well. Who the fuck knows? It's 2020. That's a good it, point. It can be both. Or <laughs> it's like a worm. Literally... It's it could be like a seahorse. I mean, hermaphrodite. It's just a pool. It's just a pool of DNA. I mean, let's not stop it at two genders. We all know there's more than that. So it could be any of the genders out there. And it can learn transform, right. so it can be anything. I'm glad they called it um, genderless and not hermaphrodite. Imagine if it was a hermaphrodite Pokemon. <laughs> Imagine if it was male, female, and hermaphrodite, not genderless. It had both. I'm sure there's something by definition, like by comparison of whatever they're based on, that has to be a hermaphrodite. Don't hermaphrodites occur naturally in like plants and shit? In everything, yeah. I think. Well, and like 0.2% of humans. It doesn't weed. <laughs> 
And uh, imagine, imagine the big schlong drawing on this Mew that they would have had to add if it was male. So it's clearly female. Drawing. Good lord. <laughs> Could you imagine just a dick longer than both its big long feet just dropping <laughs> down between there? Is anybody looking at a Mew right now? Because yeah. I'm picturing it. I mean, <laughs> why do you think it has such a long tail? <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Where do you think you two really... gets its long tail from, huh? <laughs> I, I see what you mean. I, I made a point about that. I made a Wasn't Mewtwo created Mewtwo first? Episode. No, Mewtwo was created from No, Mew was. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought, Mewtwo. I thought Mewtwo was created. Mewtwo, no, I realized that, but Mewtwo, I thought Mewtwo was created. Oh, no. I got the wrong way around. Mewtwo Which, was created, they, wow. but from Mew's they a, they, Yeah, but no, I mean, like, in real life, like, when they created the Pokemon... They had the 150, and then they were like, oh, we'll add Mew in, because he didn't exist yet. Technically, well, yeah, he, he existed, but they just ha didn't discover him until after Mewtwo was born. They didn't have their iPhone. I don't know, I feel like that should be... Bluetooth. They didn't have that at that time. Yeah. I feel like that should be fact-checked, because Stu might be right. They might have just thrown him in afterwards. Yeah, they, they just threw him in afterwards after they figured out what Mewtwo was because they realized he was a descendant of Mew. Oh, So okay, technically, well, technically we're gonna Mew go with came that. first, I, but it's actually I, I, Mew that came first. Listen, Dippy fans, I don't know if you should listen to our, our what we're saying right now. It doesn't sound legit to me. I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Well, so says I. Where, well, what is everyone's favorite endgame moment with Mew? Have you had one? Uh, Anyone the cool thing it? about Mew is no. though, the way you could break red and blue in order to actually get it illegally, almost. I, I never did that. I did it. Multiple. I never. I know about it. I watched it happen, but I never did it. Yeah, I, red and blue are just like yeah. one of the most broken games because you can do so much. Like. Uh, unrelated, I found out you can evolve a Pikachu without a Thunderstorm. How? Um, it involves you growing a level and bringing in a Growlithe into battle. So basically, you gotta have Pikachu really? in there, switch in Growlithe, grow a level in that battle, and it'll evolve it. Maybe that's why Ash has never caught a Growlithe. That Mew glitch was messed up. You could get, like, a, a Gengar, you could do anything, really. Yeah, you the only unfortunate... The Singo. Oh, dude, everyone seen no that one. Right? Yeah, that's the yep. only one, big one I remember from Red and Blue, though. Yep. And I think I remember, like, a starter glitch or something. It's only unfortunate Wait, because that Mew, uh, Mew glitch, uh, you cannot transfer the Mew into the other games. So, kind of sad. I have, a legit, I have a legitimate Game Boy Mew in my Pokemon home that has the, the Game Boy icon that will pass through all the shit. Which is... I don't know, apparently hard to get. Somebody told me, what did they say? They had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, love it. I think right, the crack is messing with your mind. But, um, yeah, yeah. My, I think uh, doing the glitch thing, finding out as a 12-year-old, uh, when the internet was actually prevalent, very early stages, and you could Google how to get Mew. Speak for yourself. Oh, well. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how they do it in Kiwi Island, but here in the States, we were able to Google it when I was about 12. I was far too young for that rubbish. <laughs> 1996, <laughs> where it was. Then it was a pipe dream. Well, I didn't figure it out then. I figured it out like 2003, 2004. Yeah, I'm just saying, because I'm so old. That <laughs> so you're saying I could go back in my red and blue virtual console and do the mute glitch? Yeah, you have to do yes. precise things. Uh, you have to... Um, uh, not battle two trainers uh, north of Cerulean City. So you got to go up the bridge. Yep. You got to go to the left where that uh, that camper kid or picnicker or whatever. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. You got to walk right in front. You got to walk right in front of them and press start before you initiate the battle sequence. Uh, teleport back to Cerulean City's. Uh, what do you call it? Cerulean City's uh, Pokemon Center, or you can fly depending on how far you got to the game without battling those two specific trainers. Then you got to go all the way back up and go to the right where there's like a youngster trainer in the middle of all the other trainers, and you got to get him to, you got to battle him, beat him, then walk back towards the Nugget Bridge 
and then the game will glitch out make you stop it'll open the pause menu and then uh, you close out the pause menu and it initiates some new battle and you've done this before multiple times yes and that's, and that's at level on five the... right that's at level five here yeah? it's at level five or seven i think seven yeah yeah I, and I you've done this cool. in the virtual <laughs> console virtual yes. and in the actual game damn i'm gonna i'm gonna replay it and do that that's cool i didn't know that joe thank you for that what a, i feel like this might be the just the most knowledgeable one we've done so far <laughs> and do you got do you got an applause give yourself an applause joe uh i believe i do yeah. <laughs> we got soundboards now oh yeah that was good <laughs> but uh uh, you can also do that glitch with other Pokemon too. Uh, just you just got to keep getting that one guy walking in front of him and teleporting away. So There's another place you can do it, and later in the game, I think as well. Is it out of Saffron City somewhere? There's another place you can do it as well. But it's, it's right off Cinnabar. It's, it's, it's right off Cinnabar Island. That's the missing no glitch. So what you do there is you go up, talk to the guy who drank too much coffee or alcohol, depending on what place you live. Oh, yeah. then you fly down to cinnabar island surf off right off the right of the island and swim up and down until you get a battle and it'll generate a random encounter uh, eventually you'll get missing no depending on i think your leads pokemon iv set nice yeah i remember that i remember that you yeah, know, like swim up and down the, 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 the like right beside the coast of like cinnabar island yeah and whatever you get like a bunch items. of like 151 level Golduck and Starmies um, and shit. And I think you so can also you do, battle uh, Professor Oak and it would doing that glitch as well. So the hint is, if you're doing that glitch in the Virtual Console, make sure your trainer name is um, the same as... No, you got to match one of the events from the distributed view and then you can transfer it, apparently. Oh, there you right. go. Right, I have one of those. I have one one of those yeah. and somebody crack birded me when i said it dickheads <laughs> so fuck you well the other option is that you can um have the trainer id 2276 through pure luck and make sure your play name is gf and then you can transfer your mu as well because it will come up as legit hmm. but otherwise you won't be able to you won't be able to you transport gotta... it post transport it oh, interesting. yeah you gotta trick them mm. great news from stewart right there all right, yes. Did you know that Professor Oak can give you Pokeballs at the beginning of the game? Yes. I what the fuck is that? that what really what kind of bullshit fact is that? What was that? I figured we were on a red and blue run anyway, so I just throw that out there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you gotta, I'm just kidding, Jesse. I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate your input. I think you got to evolve your starter before you get the first badge. And you'll no, go you got to uh, defeat your rival twice and then go back to Oak without catching a Pokemon. How do you defeat him twice? Okay, okay. So I just need to rage about Mew for a second. I'm going to rage about it. Okay. Have okay. You, do you guys play Pokemon, get you guys us, play Pokemon Go? Yeah, get us back yes, on top, topic, Stuart. Okay. Well, I saw that. Okay, I so, saw... So are you talking about to talk about the new the new thing you can do to get yes, one? The shiny yes. Mew? Yeah, so that, yeah, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. Catch, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. you got to catch 1,510 Pokemon. 1,510 yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Pokemon? The reward is... One incense. That's for one incense is the reward for that challenge. They already changed one of them, which yeah. was spin 151 unique Pokestops. They made it any Pokestops. But, you know, yeah, complete 151 tasks, walk 151 kilometers, and catch 1,510 Pokemon. That's ridiculous. Anyway, that's, a that's, my, that's, my, that's my Mew Rage. I don't mind it taking ages, but when it, the reward is one incense, it's just like, far out. Ridiculous. Good yeah, it's fucked up. Well, I won't be doing that. Fucked up. But uh, does anyone have a favorite anime moment with Mew? <coughs> Jeez, um, man. I think is it not everybody's the the original movie? Uh, that's mine. Dude, yeah, I like that part where he's like, "I'm gonna fuck up Ash," and he fucking does with Mewtwo. Freaking kill! I love how mischievous it is. I love when it puts its little hands over its mouth when it's laughing. Oh yeah, that's right. It was in freaking uh, the last. Uh, it was in the. What's it called? Uh, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah, it was the last one that the original uh, voices uh, did is for that the, Pokemon. Wait, 
Is that the one where like Lucario in the beginning of it, Lucario is like super old and he serves some king? Yeah, it's like a and he gets war. thrown into yeah, like okay. a. Do you know who does yeah, his voice? Sick. Who? Uh, Sean Chamel. Do you know who he is? Dragon Ball Z. No. Yeah, he's Goku. Oh, sick! I did not know that. Yeah, Sean really Chamel cool. actually. I... Yeah, Sean Chamel actually did a lot of voiceovers for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Huh. That's like one of my top five favorite Pokemon movies too, though. I really like it. That one always makes me sad because, like I said, that was the last one with, I think it was uh, four kids, and then they switched it over to the voices now. I remember yeah. when I watched it, it was the Battle Frontier. I watched it on Cartoon Network, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with their voices? Is my TV fucked up? Yeah, no, the, the voices were... <laughs> They they made the voices weirder. I don't know. To me, they were weirder. And then Ash just sounds like a bitch after poor kids. I don't know. Well, I, I don't mean, like it. It took a while to get used to, but yeah, I was I was really sad about that. Right. I'm like, no, I can't have Brock as Kaiba anymore. I don't want to watch this. All right. Well, yeah. if anyone else has anything they want to say about this wonderful Pokemon, we're gonna go ahead and talk about team. So it is well, pretty interesting. Uh, cause steward, uh, it, uh, ladies, ladies, one at a time, please. I'm waiting for him to talk so I can interrupt him again. Sorry. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, <laughs> who's, uh, who's talking? Uh, Good lord. <laughs> Fucking A. Go ahead, Morgan. No, I'm done. I'm done. No, go, go, I'm just no, going to no. say, listen, listen. It's, it's, it's base 600 stats, 100 across the board. Carry on, friends. Yeah, it's that mythical, like, there's a whole group of mythical Pokemon that have the 800, <laughs> like Celebi and Jirachi yeah. and all them. So uh, it's just pretty cool because it, it can learn pretty much almost any move TM, uh, move tutor, except a few exceptions, like exclusive moves like Draco Meteor and the uh, uh, starter hyper beams, as I call them. But anything else it can pretty much learn, which makes it extremely diverse and hard to plan for sometimes. And that's just going to make these team, team builders interesting. Yeah, it's not going to be like Butterfree where it's just shit. No, <laughs> it's going to be something. All right, guys. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and move on to team builders. And let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, now we're talking about our teams. I'll go ahead and go first real quick. Um, first mod I got is the real god, Mew. Leftover synchronized with Hillbell. Just in case we try, someone tries to toxic us. Uh, toxic us. Uh, with Cosmic Powered, Stored Powered, and Flamethrower. Why Flamethrowered? I have no idea. But we are uh, max special attack, max speed with 4 defense. Because Cosmic Power is going to give us all our bulk. Secondly, we have Satan Tiger, our Incineroar. With Assault Vest, Intimidate. Um, max HP, max, max attack. And uh, the moves are Darkest Lariat. Just in case uh, we face the... Cosmic Power Mew ourselves. Uh, knock Off, Fake Out, and Flare Blitz. Third, we have The Ex Executioner, The Pincer, with Pincerite and Mold Breaker, with Swords Dance, Quick Attack, Stone Edge, and Exizor with Max Attack, Max Speed. Fourth, we have Tinkerbell, The Rabombi, with Focus Sash and Shield Dust, so Fake Outs don't bother us any. With Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, Energy Ball, Moon Blast, Max Special Attack, Max Speed. We fifth we have Dracula, our Gliscor with Toxic uh, Toxic Orb with Poison bleh, Poison Hill. I can't talk for shit. All right, um, it's running uh, Stealth Rock, Roost, Knock Off, Earthquake with 200 Attack, 252 Defense, and 56 HP. And lastly but not leastly, we have the Third Eye. The Slow King with Lumberry Regenerator with Slack Off, Toxic, Teleport, and Scold with 252 Attack, Special Attack, and 252 Special Defense for HP. Next up, we got Morgan. All right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rock. Bring me some of that rock. All right, so I got my first up is the Clit is not real. It's my Mew. Um, it's, a, it's a red card item ability to synchronize. I went, it's a suicide lead set, so I went spike, stealth rocks, taunt, crunch, um, 252 HP, 4 attack, and 252 speed. Next is Bad Father, the Dragapult. I went leftovers, infiltrator, 
uh, Hex, Draco Meteor, U-Turn, and Thunder Wave. Uh, next, or I went 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, and 4 Special Defense. Next is Annoying AF, the, the Whimsicott, went Leftovers, Prankster, Substitute, Toxic, Protect, Defog. That's uh, a utility scent. It's meant to waste your Dynamax. Uh, 252 HP, uh, 148 on the Special Defense, and then 108 on the Defense. SDD, I burn, question mark, maybe, you know, because it's all doesn't always burn and neither does herpes, you know. So, Rocky Helmet, Regenerator, uh, went Scald, Recover, Haze, Knock Off, 252 HP, 252 Defense, and for, for Special Defense. Um, next is the famous Dick and Chicken, e back Blaziken, uh, Focus Sash, Speed Boost, Swords Dance, Flare Bliss, Flare Blitz, Protect, Thunder Punch, I went 252 attack, 252 speed, and 4 defense. And then let's eat cereal, the Mega Alexei. I went Alkazite, Magic Guard, Psychic, Focus Blast, Calm Mind, and Shadow Ball. I went 252 special attack, 252 speed, and 4 defense. And that is my Mew team. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> Where did Joe go? Next up, What's we Joe got doing? Jesse. Joe. Yeah. You you were cutting out. No, I wasn't here. I, I had to go tell my wife something. But uh, oh, okay. You're, oh, well. you're, you're up, Jesse. That was shit. Priorities. Right, so for my team, um, you got nine pounds <laughs> of Lolan. That's not mine. <laughs> Don't play that during mine. <laughs> I got 15 minutes to explain my team, okay? <laughs> no, you got seven. seven <laughs> uh, I got nine towns of Lola seven. with light clay, uh, Aurora Veil, Moonblast, Free Bray, Freeze Dry, and Lizard. Uh, standard nine tails just to set up, be able to protect my mons. Uh, next up is my Kamo'o. Uh, I decided to run it a little bit different. It's got Kamonium Z with Clinging Scales, Bulk Up, Drain Punch, and Shadow Claw. Uh, after that is Gyarados, which is my Mega Gyarados. It's got Moxie with your typical Gyarados, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Waterfall, and Taunt. Uh, after that, I've got the Cheese. This is the Cheese section. I've got Porygon Z with a Blender Policy with Adaptability with tri Zap Zapcan, and Recover Nasty Plot. Uh, then I've got uh, Clefable, the Devil itself. Uh, I'm going to name Clefable Broly from now on. Um, cool. That one's got leftovers with unaware. Uh, Psych up Moonblast, Softball, and Psychic. Uh, I'm tempted to bring Stored Powered, but I decided with Psychic because I can't depend on Psych up to be a guaranteed shot. But that's just because I'm expecting some cosmic power muse and whatnot. Uh, so that's just kind of a safety blanket for shit like that. And then I got the Mew, uh, went with the cheese one. Uh, I got Focus Stash synchronized with the Nasty Plot, Psychic, Vacuum Wave, and Endeavor. Just so I can actually take out some people if I really need to. Sounds like a shit set. I like it. It fucking sucks. I like, I like the Mew set. I don't even I think like it's going to work. <laughs> the Mew set's pretty shitty. It's mean. It's just, it's mean. All right, it's lastly really and leastly, we have Stuart. All right, so I started off with Puss, the Mew, mm. uh, holding, holding leftovers. Uh, I went with the typical Cosmic Power Roost Body Press Stored Power Set, but I changed the EVs a little bit. I um, made it 108 speed so that it, it was bold, so it outsped max speed base 70s, max defense, and then 148 HP, just to put the rest into there. Then I had Discharge, the Inola Nine Tails, Light Clay, Snow Warning, Aurora Veil, Blizzard, Freeze Dry, and I put on Hypnosis because maybe I can get off a Hypnosis or two. Um, I've got Flem, the Primarina, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Psychic, Scald, Choice Specs, Max Speed, Modest. Then I've got Purulence, the Zero Aura, Bulk Up, Plasma Fist, Knock Off, Drain Punch, Leftovers with Volt Absorb. Uh, Mucus, the Mega Sableye, holding the Sable Knight. Prankster and then Magic Bounce, we'll see if that's useful. Shadow Sneak, Knock Off, Recover and Willow Wisp. And then I've got Pustule, the Crocodile, holding the Stelium Z. So I figured there'd be a few fury types around as usual. Stealth Rock, Knock Off, Close Combat, and Iron Tail with Max Speed, Max Attack, Jolly. 
Nice. Alrighty. Well, that's our teams. Let's go ahead and put them to the test. Let's go. And now that we talked about our teams, let's go ahead and move on to the battles. And I'm gonna we're gonna start this with uh, me versus Jesse. <laughs> Yeah. I'll commentate. Okay. Let me commentate this yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, you, you... All right. Who's who's? Uh, I don't see either of you ready to go. I'm waiting for Jesse to sin. Dude, you're gonna love my nicknames. What? You you're nicknamed your mons? No, exactly. That's why you're gonna love them. Uh, <laughs> terrible, terrible, Jesse. Terrible. That's what you do. Wiggity swag, G. Alright, alright, they're in here. So, Zamora has brought Mew, Incineroar, Pinsir, Ribombi, uh, Gliscor, and Gl or fucking Jotonian Slow King. Everybody Thank you for Slow not King bringing Slow Bro. Slow bro. What is that? You're welcome. It, it, Everybody's bringing the, the, the bros. Alright, so, and then Jesse's got Mew, Clefable, Porygon Z, Gyarados, Como O, and Alolan Ninetales. Let's see what they're gonna do. <laughs> Here we are. Right. I like these teams. I like these teams. So good. Not not seeing yeah. Rillaboom. It's just so good. What a relief. All right. So Jesse leads Porygon Z, and some more gaming leads Dracula the Gliscor. I'm really gonna start off with this. Shit. I like that. I like Dracula. Thank you. Um, just that's a great that's a great nickname there, Jesse. Thank you, man. All right, another one. Shit. Oh. All right, Jesse switches into Como O. Zamora switches into Satan Tiger the Incineroar, and Jesse takes an attack drop from the Intimidate ability. Here comes the belly drop. Como O is hit <laughs> with a fake out and flinches. It's <laughs> out into Tinkerbell the Ribombi. Como O uses Clangler's Soul Blaze, but Ribombi is immune due to its very tight immunity. <laughs> Oh yeah, that couldn't have been oh. any better. Oh jeez, that was nice. That was nice. Good plays. All right, Jesse switches into a Alolan Nine Tails and sets hail. Tinker Bell throws a Moon Blast at it, and it does about half its damage, leaving it at about fifty-three percent health. Zamora switches into Incineroar, and Alolan Nine Tails takes a attack drop while setting. What would you do? A Roller Bell. Satan Tiger uses knockoff after Nine Tails used a Moon Blast. Nine Tails is looking at eh, you're looking alright, I guess. It's got a nice little tail shake going on. I'm staring at its ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a honey? Oh, and down Nine Tails goes to a flare blitz from Incineroar. Satan Tiger. I don't know about that. All right, comes, Jesse uh, throws in Porygon Z, still hiding behind that Aurora Veil. Ooh. Oh, Zach Cannon! Satan Tigers. Oh, Zach Blunder Cannon from Polish. Porygon oh, Z. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. And yeah. Satan Tiger yeah. used knockoff. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So he got a two times speed from. What was that? Blunder Policy. He yeah, he messed with the Zip cannon. Oh, cool. Look at that. So he's got... I don't know. Maybe Satan Tiger's in a shitty position now? This is going to be a bad this time. Yeah. For Satan Tiger. It's going to be a real bad time. All right. Satan Tiger switches out into third eye. The Slow King, Porygon C, recovers. Oh, oh he's and third eye takes a nasty oh. try attack. Porygon Z is toxic and is now poisoned badly. Oh, and down that. goes third eye to another nasty try attack. So it is five to five. <clears throat> cool. Gone set up, but is poisoned. Thank out. Yeah. In comes Satan oh, Tiger yeah. the Incineroar from Zamora, who takes a Porygon Z takes a fake out and eats some more toxic Stack damage. Right it's going down next turn to toxic. Stack the right bomb B. But not before taking out in Zamora. And his nice. Satan Tiger. Oh. Dancing around, shaking its oh. tits. <laughs> Tough choice there. Tough choice. And a tri attack takes out Incineroar. And out goes Porygon Z. So now four to four. Nice. This is a good game. 
In comes Gyarados for Jesse, and in comes Tinkerbell the Ribombi from Zamora. That's because the teams aren't tryhard teams. They're actually good teams. <laughs> With actually lots of good. fun mons. They actually are good, good teams. Balance. My team's my team might be a tryhard team. Alright. D Max from the Tinkerbell. And it takes a max star Gyarados takes a max starfall. Gyarados Dragon Dances and gets the attack and speed boost. Oh no, no, no. And Waterfall oh, no. takes 75% of Tinkerbell's health, but it comes back with another Max Starfall and kills the Gyarados. So Tinkerbell's at 25% Dynamax. In comes Jesse's Clefable. Max Starfall takes... Oh, alright. Max Starfall from Rubombi, and then Clefable takes it out with a returning Moonblast. So we are 3-3. Three to three. This is a good game. Here we go. In comes the real god, Mew. Oh, Satan Tiger and the real god. I bet they are conflicting. <laughs> Alright, cosmic <laughs> power from the real god. Clefable soft boils. Another cosmic G power from the real god. This, this is GG. GG. Yeah, it's that's game over. Gone. gone. See Did ya. you fuck up, Jesse? <laughs> Did you fuck up, Jesse? Oh, no, no, he didn't. no, I didn't. He just got played. What a, what a genius. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. What a genius. Oh, nice. See you in 52, right, guys. I can't uh, even keep up. Stored power and moonblast shenanigans. No, did I fuck myself? Maybe. Oh, yeah, you Oh, big time. So Clefable is Dynamaxed <clears throat> with the 2.5 defense buff and the 2.5 special defense buff. Oh, he got crit! Oh, he got the crit. Oh, Damn. Oh, critical oh, max starfall from Clefable. Oh, out my you. God. That's killer. Joe sends in Dracula the fucking glass war. And it hits Clefable with a knockoff. Max starfall hits Dracula. It's toxic poisoned with its toxic orb. It roosts. Even another max starfall from Clefable. I done fucked up big time. <laughs> Dracula roosts. You saw that coming, and didn't takes you? Takes another Jesse? max starfall. Poison heal. I don't know what's about to happen here. This seems a. He's gonna win. Ugh, that was gross. Why'd you do that? Why'd you earth click? My only play. Oh, is it? Yep. See? You don't have swords to dance or anything? Nope. This is a purely defensive Dracula. Interesting. Dracula is a glass core. I feel like we haven't said that in a minute. Uh, they're just trading moon blasts and earthquakes. It's pretty boring right now. They're just dancing <laughs> for each other, stomping on, stomping on the ground, and he's shooting moon blasts. All right, we've got some real damage with that one. All right, moon blast hit the Dracula pretty hard, but it roosts again. Imagine that, and takes another moon blast. One of us is gonna run out of PP first, and it ain't gonna be me. We are thirty-one turns in, my friend. This is a good game, or it was. Until this All game. I need you to do is run out of PP for Roost, and then I win. You say that. Dracula is shaking his thing around. That little thing he got. He's shaking it. They are literally just played trade moon blast. He's roosting every once in a while. Oof. Oof. I'm suspecting a roost from Glyscore. Oh, no, down goes uh, Glyscore to the Psychic. Why didn't you use that before? It's not super effective. It just, he doesn't want to run out of Moonblast, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's not a poison type. <clears throat> he's not a poison type. Never mind. Executioner the Pincer comes in. Zamora's last mod. It Mega Evolves oh, into not Mega enough. Pincer. Oh, the Stone Edge does not do enough damage to take out Clefable, and a Moonblast hits Executioner the Pincer. Pincer Swords advances. It's the plus one attack. Clefable and heals up a bit. It's at 59%. Oh, it must have been keeping Soft Walls again. Ooh. Oh, my. Ooh. 
No, I lost. Stone Edge. Oh well. Ah, oh, it, it was a GG. Pincer eats a moon blast and leaves it. Oh, 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 oh god, damn! damn. If I Not could... enough. Okay, so uh, Pincer hits it with a Stone Edge, a critical Stone Edge, but it wasn't enough, and then moon blast with the game. So Jesse is doing good game, Jesse. That was great. That was a great game. Thirty-eight turns. All right, Stu, you want to send me a battle request? Sure. Damn it, Jesse, for predicting that happening before even anything even started. Yeah, I... I don't want to play Jesse's team, so... <laughs> that sucks. You didn't get to see my Mew cheese. It's pretty good. Was it the same as mine? My Mew set? No. My Mew set is not... So oh, wait, did... shit. I brought the Gyarados team. My bad. Resend, Stu. I'm going out of this. Whenever I make right. a mon for one of ours, it's never going to be prototypical. <coughs> There's no fun in that. I just wanted to try it. I've never yeah. tried it before. Oh, yeah. I'm used the perfect person for that. And it backfired. A little bit. All right. So we are ready to go. Somebody wants to read off our team. Okay. I'm going to need the uh, I'm gonna need the sound, please. <laughs> Excuse me. I need the... Uh, they need the clip. Need the clip, please. No, that's not the right one. Wait, wait, which one? He is... meant the bird. He meant yeah, the bird. Yeah. The, bird. <laughs> the cracker. There we go. <laughs> oh, so for Morgan, we've got Mew, Dragapult, Whimsicott, oh, Toxapex, Blaziken, and Alakazam. Ooh. And with Stuart, we've got Mew, Alolan Ninetales, Primarina, Zorora, Sableye, and Crocodile. Interesting. No Slowbro on this team, so good job, you guys. Fuck you, dude. You're welcome. All right. All right, let's get this battle okay, started. Make sure you read these fucking nicknames. Dude, I always read the nicknames, and I cringe at them sometimes, so <laughs> you'll expect nothing less. <sighs> Y'all want to pick them on? Okay, I so did. Stewart brings out Mucus, his Sableye, versus <laughs> Morgan's The Clit Isn't Real Mew. <laughs> All right, can anybody really find it? Let's be realistic here. I, I can. can. Come on. Nobody can find it. I found it once. It was a venture. <laughs> <laughs> no one can find it. I forget what fucking... Um, okay, so... Oh, it's oh, a we Mega, got Mega Ball. Ball. Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot we could... I forgot it... I literally just thought to myself, it was like, it can't Mega Evolve. And you... you so it can't get Magic Bounce. Any magic bounce the spikes back off Mucus News knockoff to knock off a red card. Ooh, what kind of meal was That's this? Bad. Interesting. Oh, and Morgan brings in Dick and Chicken. Yep, that's right. Blaze again. <laughs> Stuart uses a shadow sneak. The world famous Dick and Chicken. If you like Nashville yeah. Hot, you'll like Dick and Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in comes Stewart's Primarina Flem. <laughs> Morgan just had and a Dick Morgan and Chicken moment. uses a sword dance to get its attack up with a speed boost. Flem. Kind of a tame nickname there, huh, Stewart? Oh, we got a Dynamax Primarina who eats Ooh. a Thunder Punch and ah. hits it back with a Max Geyser. Ooh, and just like that, Morgan's down one nice Pokemon. Dynamax. That was a nice Dynamax. It seems like Stewart's theme is Mucus. Mucus. Oh, here comes Whimsicott, who's annoying AF. Hmm. I would definitely What's agree. What's this bastard? <laughs> Prankster. Prankster, right? Eh? That nickname is kind of tame compared to the ones I've seen before. I'm kind of a little disappointed, to be honest. I, uh, well, he's about to be kind of annoying. God, I forgot about Magic Bounce Sableye. <laughs> I forgot we can Mega, Mega Evolve. That's so annoying. I just thought to myself, it was like, I, I, it doesn't matter. I can. Oh, do and Stuart brings oh, out Mucus, but uh, Morgan uses Substitute. Oh well, I was gonna waste his uh, his Dynamax, but that didn't wait. He wasted it for himself. Yep, yeah. wasted it for myself. 
he got he got yeah. out the the dick and chicken. He took one bite of it and said, "Nope, I'm having no more of that." <laughs> no more dick and chicken for his liking. Hmm. He was like, "No, no, no more chicken." <laughs> <laughs> no, let me play. <laughs> now I got a name for my mom. Give me a second. Let me play. Oh, we got defog, but magic bounce. He still gets those spikes out. Great play. And we get a knockoff from Mucus, Did the Sableye, who looks time, like Morgan. Mucus. This is your time, Morgan. Do what? Your time is ready. Your time is now. What does that mean? <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can take a... I can't do anything. Okay, Morgan, I have I a question. I don't have it. I don't... If you had... What? I'm thinking. I'm Stop thinking. Stop talking to Morgan. Stop talking One to Morgan. Shot. <laughs> One opportunity. <laughs> Would you, would you capture it, I ever wanted? <laughs> or would you let it slip? I don't know, dude. Um, I would. Yo, <laughs> would his palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. I don't know what I'd do, man. Hold on, I'm just stop for a second. He eats his that. mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Morgan's nervous. I don't know. What to do. I don't know. What to do. Oh, here comes Dragapult, the bad father, and eats a knockoff. Oh! Ooh, that takes it down to a quarter. That hit me, that that hit me so hard. It's almost like those out. types are weak to dark attacks. Wait, who's? I knew that, but I didn't know it was going to take that much down. Good lord. Oh, and a shadow oh, sleep takes out that bad father. And Morgan's down to Pokemon. Mm, it's over. Will we I see the rest of Shoot Dog now. The, the, the Sable Eye really shits on everything I'm trying to do. This dude hasn't said shit the whole time. Oh, here I comes Alakazam, and he wants to eat some cereal. Let's eat it. Nah, Shoot Dog's a... The, the silent assassin. He won't talk shit till it's over. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> it's smart. <clears throat> Not good for the I podcast. I don't even know. I don't even think I can hit him. With Morgan this has a slight advantage in the fact that he can Dynamax still. It doesn't. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Are you telling me Dark Walls the fuck out of your team? Pretty much. Maybe, actually, Sableye. now that I'm looking at it, yeah, Sableye kind of walls the fuck out of my team. <laughs> you actually don't I have don't any do. moves for it, do you? If you want to find out no, why Morgan I don't think doesn't I have do. a move for his dark type, watch him on Morgan Oko when he <laughs> takes it on Showdown. <laughs> and talks about how... I didn't oh, hear man. what you said the first time. I didn't oh, hear what the beginning of you said. Oh, well, here said. comes Toxapex STD I burn? <laughs> And Stewart's kind <laughs> enough and brings in Flynn, the Primarina. I said, if you want to see Morgan, why Morgan's team was Dark Week, go check him out on Morgan Oko Gaming when he talks about his new team. <laughs> Morgan O H A O. Now maybe I'll change it up when I when I do that. The topic mon was mute. Man, that's he didn't to bring why'd you, oh, Dark why'd you Why'd you switch out? Cereal. Hi. Eats a psychic from Primarina, and it's now to about two thirds. I just like how this week's topic mon was Mew and Morgan didn't bring a dark type answer. <laughs> oh, we got Mega. Oh, we got. Uh, oh, we got a calm mind. Mega Alakazam, who's got Zorora, who's. How do you say that? Purulence? Yeah, what does that mean? God, you know what? Man. Stop after using big words. After not expecting Mega Sable, I didn't expect Mega Alakazam. Oh. But why? Mm. Alakazam knocks it out with a freaking psychic. And there goes the aura, but Mucus comes out. <laughs> I don't have anything to this. I don't have anything for it. <laughs> so the six, what fucking... The 6-0 is no more. No. I don't think... I can't hit it with a Focus Blast. I can't hit it with a Shadow Ball. Or can well, I, I hit can't... it with a... Sh Wait, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, I can. But hey, hey! Who says Mucus can't be hurt? He takes down half his health from a Shadow Ball, but he's gonna die from Shadow Sneak anyway, so who gets yeah. a check? <laughs> Set Toxic Spike, Morgan. No, I'm not gonna do Just that Toxic because... it. Just Toxic it, man. Stupid. Oh, the clit isn't real. It's back out the Mew. I can't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like crying. He's like, I can't do anything. <laughs> I failed you, Master Wayne. I didn't get six out, so that's okay. I've never been six out on the podcast, so that's good. I failed you, Master Wayne. And I've won one. 
which is one more than oh he uses crunch and steward uses recover oh you bitch <laughs> oh we got a shadow sneak oh we got a taunt and he still got magic oh, I bounce. Can't it with the magic <laughs> bounce. I didn't know that. I didn't know that magic bounce bounced back to taunt. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's so good. That's can, so good. We make, can we make next week's mon just Megal Sableye, please? <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't status it in any way. And Megal Sableye yeah. takes out Mew with a knockoff. Morgan's got Whimsicott and Toxapex, which I don't think either one are going to be able to take it out. No, no. Probably not. Dude, I didn't know that. Magic. Oh, he gets a burn. He gets a burn. Oh, 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 he comes. Oh, the Rocky Helmet does yeah, the damage. Any kind of status or anything you can't do to a Magic Belt. If he gets a crit. And don't forget, you also you. have Dynamite. You I said with magic bounce you can't do any status taunts anything like that. If it's if it's a if it's a non-attacking move that affects the user and it has magic bounce you can't use it on it. Hmm. <laughs> mm, nothing's gonna. I'm. I'm fucking. I'm. I'll... Oh, here comes discharge on the oh. and nine tails, and Morgan decides to freaking Dynamax. Nice. Noise. 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 Why'd you say it three times in a row, Stuart? Nice. Oh, here comes back out Mucus, <laughs> who takes ooh eleven percent from the max darkness. Oh no, minus Spadef now. No, the Spadef <laughs> is down. Oh, Another no. max darkness. The Spadef is down even more. Oh no, my Spadef. <laughs> Stuart does a and talking a bunch of shit now. Oh, here comes the Lola Nine Tails. He gets hit with the skulls. It's at about a half, but there's hail on the field. Hmm. STD is trying that slow burn. It's charged. <laughs> Least, Here comes a freeze dry from oh, Nine Tails, takes it down to a quarter. That's a critical. Scald is slowly chipping away at this Nine Tails. Oh, and down it goes. Oh, we got one Pokemon. I wonder who it could be. It's Whimsicott, who's annoying as fuck, but not in this match. He ain't. It can't do nothing. It's a thief. Oh, I'm sorry. And in comes the Blizzard, and Stuart right, wins. Good game. Oh, good game, Stuart. Uh, that was down GG. to the wire. That was down to the wire. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know about the taunt thing. Pakal, <laughs> <laughs> pakal. All right, now it's Stu Dog like versus we... Jesse. Ah. Uh. Jesse and I don't want to face this to Fable. Don't want to face this to Fable. Do you want to commentate or you want me to do it, Jeff? I'll do it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> you just sit there and look I pretty. I bought a fish today. Ah, uh, look at all these <laughs> attacks that I can use on a Sable Eye. It's great. Y'all gonna start? What? All right, here we go. Gonna, are you going to read the team? Oh, wait, we already know. We already oh, know, but we got GS Gold versus Stu Dog. Let's see how it goes from here. Here's my chance. Here's my chance to pick him on. I can do this! It's his chance. Come on. Use Club Fable. Come on. Sorry, We're both going to start off the Jesse. same. Oh, no, no. Jesse's going to win his first match. GS Gold starts off with nine tails, and Stu Dog goes with him, uh, the Primarina. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want to click? Is the question. Two dogs. What are you going to switch? Two dogs start off with. with... <laughs> I feel like Pre Marina is not fun <laughs> at all. 
Uh, Ninetales goes for the Aurora Veil as Glim goes for the Moonblast and takes a little bit of hell damage. But um, Stuart goes to his own nine to Olola Ninetales named Discharge to take the uh, Freeze Dry. He gets up his own Aurora Veil as Ninetales goes with the Moonblast. You ever seen a wet noodle contest? No. Wait, wait. Why is your nine tails name discharge still? I was just down the, like like vaginal. No. no any, nostril. Any kind of any kind of discharge. Anal like gland anal discharge. discharge. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's rough. Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah, dude. Just anal discharge everywhere. It could be everywhere. it could be expo exploding hemorrhoid for like you. Oh my gosh, like it like it blow out of you like an alien yes gold goes clefable Ooh. and walks into a hypnosis and discharge is looking at it and laughing they are both sitting behind veils which one i'm sure both had uh light play hmm. discharge and clefable are staring each other down Bill Cosby They're is looking at that Clefable. Clefable takes no, a blizzard. Doesn't, do doesn't do anything. And doesn't do anything. Blink. These are two bulky teams. Discharge is wondering what the hell it's going to do here. And Clefable is just right. napping away. What does G's Gold mean? Is that like a rap song, Jason? No. Goon Squad Gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, look at my character. Who is that? Gold. I thought you meant. I thought it was like G plural gold, like G's gold, like G G G, -G, -G like, units. A G, like that's a dope. Ass yeah, like DJ like man. a like a gangster's gold. You know what I'm saying? Clefable is still fast you know asleep. What I'm I don't know. What, I don't... takes a lowly nine toes his place. You're from the streets, Jesse. I don't know. You belong to the streets. He does belong to the streets. He's a fucking scoundrel, my guy. He is a goon. Roof. Roofless. I don't know how accepting is... he is of that title. Um, Queer Marina goes for a psychic, and Clefable tanks it pretty well, but it's still asleep. What do you do now, Come trainer? On. Is this going to take forever? I feel like this is going to take forever. I feel like I'm gonna have to make a play because he would have said he was Clefable otherwise. Yeah. Clefable's just sitting there being all sleepy, but it finally woke up and it goes Moonblast. It's gonna, it's gonna be a bloody spadef drop. So Primarina gets a spadef drop. Alrighty. I mean, but spack drop and Clefable's just sitting there, completely unaware. My spadef. This spadaf. Oh no, my spadaf. Ooh, and Psychic does a big chunk now that Aurora <laughs> Veil is gone. And Clem takes that Moonblast pretty well. Also, guys, uh, a week from the day of this release of the podcast, uh, this video will be up on YouTube as well as many of our other videos that are already up. So go ahead to Zamora Gaming and check out some of those videos. All right. Purulence comes in as Clefable soft boils and both the Aurora Veils are gone. I'm gonna have to Google what that means. Well, it's mucus related, I'm sure. Clefable goes for the psychic and Purulence oh. goes for the bulk up. Is this Pure is this a physically bulky definition. Clefable? Oh, goes for another psychic. And Purulence is still there bulking up. Yeah. The definition of purulence is the condition of containing or forming pus. Oh! You're, that's filthy. That's great. Plasma Fist made any right. normal type move electric. Oh, yeah, that's right. Psych up goes in and heals up purulence. What an amazing play by Stuart. How do you like them apples? How do you like them? Did How do they know? taste? Stuart, did you Are know that, that was happening? <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you like that? <laughs> did you know that would happen? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> That sounds so good. So good. Uh, headphone <laughs> users, <you> beware. <laughs> and Gyarados swaps in for Clefable. And Purulence is sitting there at plus two attack, plus two defense. 
Oh, and it is a Mega Gyarados. But Plasma Fist comes off and wrecks it shit anyway. <laughs> and then Mew's coming in to see what it can do against Pure Lens. Here's the, the Zero Aura. And Knockoff brings it down to its sash. Is this a Psycho oh. Mew? Oh no, it's an Injector oh. Mew! And uh, Pure Lens has oh, the leftovers that's... here. That was filthy. That was kind of fucky. That was fucked up. <laughs> Is he going to quick attack me? Is that what's going to happen now? <laughs> Not about that life. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Are you scared? Pure Lynch is plus two defense. I don't know if it can take a quick that attack. Was that was mean. Scared's the, that scared's was... the wrong word, really. That was disrespectful. He just mm. Is oh, doing his only answer to the fable about to go down here? We'll find out hey. right now. Oh, and he switches out to Krem and goes for Vacuum Wave. Mew is sitting there at 1 HP. Clem is at 59. I see an endeavor in your future. Do you? Do you actually? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, does he have the Shit. Aqua Jet? Hey. He doesn't. He's stalling too long. <laughs> And Discharge comes back out, takes the Endeavor, and Mew's going to go down to the hell. Why didn't he do that in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think about it, to be honest, until right then. All right. So both <laughs> Ninetales are on the field. Discharge versus Ninetales. I'm assuming they're both going to try to get Bell back up for their team. I feel like he's going to Ice Shard me. Is that what I feel like? I don't hmm. think Ninetales gets Ice Shard. <laughs> Definitely gets ice shot. Are you sure? Not all ice types yep. get it. Yeah, it gets ice shot. I think both, anyway. 90%. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna risk it. I'm gonna look you. it up. I'm not gonna I'll tell you, yeah, yeah, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna freeze try That's right. I'm okay with that. Alright, well, Vel gets up, and Ninetales gets the freeze dry kill on the Ninetales, so finally he gets the kill on Stew Dog. How will the hell take effect into this battle now? Pustle? Pustle? Pustle. It does get Pustle. Ice Pustle comes in behind the veil, going up against the Ninetales, who's now negative one attack. Not that it matters. Pustle? Ew. That's fucking gross. Like a gem. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like a child. You okay, Morgan? <laughs> No, I didn't do that. All right, we got Puss coming in <laughs> as Ninetales goes for a veil of its own. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hearing Fuck things, Morgan? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Maybe you did too much crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Crocodile comes back in to drop the attack of Nine I die. again. I die. I died. I died. No. <laughs> what were you thinking, Stuart? Hey, hey. I didn't think he would blizzard my Mew, to be honest. <laughs> He's going all out <laughs> that, attack on that all, puss. On that that's puss. All, that's all. That's all it's gonna do. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no. That's what Stuart's singing right now. Definitely what I'm definitely what I'm singing right now. Another blizzard comes up and freezes the Mew! I'm just kidding. He goes for the cosmic power. Owen has an extra turn of veil. An extra three turns. Puss is looking to just get all them cosmic powers up as Ninetales switches out and goes into Clefable here. Stored power goes off and Clefable is ready to psych up. Fuck. Forgot about that shit. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, guys. Sorry. You couldn't use a different Mew? <laughs> oh, come on, man. 
Come on, man. All right, I, I don't know, know. I get it. I was, it's funny because I was going to bring <laughs> Munium Z. I had Munium Z in my first team, and I was like, nah, everyone's going to bring Munium Z. I'm going to bring Cosmic Power Roost Mew. That's going to be genius. Oh, I, dude, I never I forgot I, I Munium Z existed. In the TPO, that's the only game I lost was to a, a Cosmic Power Store Power Mew, and I was like, I want to try that just for shits and giggles. But Pure Lynch is back in. And Clefable is back to full after that uh, soft boil. Pure Lens goes for Drain Punch, but I don't think that's going to help it much as it goes down to a Moonblast. So Clefable is still behind Vel for one more turn. Pustle comes in, drops to Clefable's attack by one. And let's see what happens here. Does he have Max Steel? Oh no! He has a Z Power! Corkscrew Crash and takes it down to 35%. But Moonblast will take down the Pusto, the Crocodile. Yeah, I think it's GG. I've got nothing nothing for it now. Clefable is sitting at 41%. Uh, and the only thing Stew Dog has in the back is a Cosmic Power Mew, Primarina, and Sableye. Will Jesse get his first win of the... of ever? I just... I just... I'll, I'll just uh, forfeit, I think. Oh, mm. and Stuart's just going to give him the win, not even give him the gratitude of winning it all. Well, what am I supposed to do, you know? Uh, so, so, so Jesse uh, hold on. is going to win one. It seems like it. He's got a chance. Down to this. He's still got it. Hit that psychic. Oh, shit! Dynamax oh, I, comes off. I forgot, I forgot that I had a Dynamax. Not that it matters, but Max there you go. Mindstorm, but Soft Boiled comes off. But now that Psyche is going to be doing much more damage. Of course, Jesse could just soft boil like a bitch. I'm sorry, were you roosting with your <laughs> freaking guy score? Yeah. Like a bitch, but I was doing it. And GS Gold has the fans behind him. Now let's see how this goes. I I messed this up as well. Oh, I'm just having a fail right now. How embarrassing. How'd you mess this up, Stuart? Talk to us. Because what I should have done is I should have max Phantasm three times, and then I would have had him minus three defense. And then it would be much better for other mons in my team. You still have a chance to do it twice. Instead of, instead of him just sitting here. <clears throat> He can still do it twice. Uh, he's. I've, I've used two max turns already. Oh, he can still do it once. <laughs> Good chunk, but Clefable is going to soft boil again to 96%. And with the leftovers, it is completely unfazed by any attacks. Clem is wondering oh, yeah. what he's going to do now. Oh, and Clefable switches out to a Ninetales, takes a Psychic, and goes down. No Aurora Veil for you there. It's Chippy McHale, though. Stupid Chippy McHale. Fuck you. Porygon Z comes in. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Chippy McHale. Still a Zap Cannon coming on as Mucus comes in. Oh, Dynamax Porygon Z goes for the Max Strike, and Mucus is Im immune to it. Sorry, I was burping. Why? Because it's Why? a normal type attack. Oh. Max strike. Gotcha. Mucus is sitting here in front of a Max Porygon Z. What is he going to do here? <clears throat> max strike. Oh, and the Mucus gets that Emerald and goes ahead and Dynamax here. But Max Lightning does about half damage. Mucus is just going to recover here. But I like what's the secondary effect? Now. What's the secondary effect of Max Strike? Max Strike is a normal lowers type my attack speed. that lowers, lowers speed. Lowers my speed. <laughs> Porygon Z is running out of Max turns, but he still has Electric Terrain up for that Zap Cannon. And he hits the Zap Cannon and paralyzes Mucus. And Mucus goes for the knockoff here. Takes out the blunder policy, so there's no plus two speed for Porygon today. 
but see you later, still, blonde policy. Yeah, he's still I'll stuck take it. with the para and uh, needs to recover here. Zap cannon misses, and recover Ugh. comes off through the para. Electric train. Damn, one that's turn rough. Left. If Zap Cannon connects here, it could possibly take out the Mucus. And it doesn't! Mucus is living on 10%. And it gets will o by the Mucus. Mega Sableye <laughs> is fighting for dear life. Bye. Oh, he hit it right. No way did he hit it right just then. That's bullshit right there. You know, uh, I battled uh, David the other day, and he hit every Zap Cannon. He didn't miss not once. He hit like four. I was like, ass. <sighs> now what? Oh, I have to do this, I think. If not for Clefable, Puss could win him the game. But Clefable is going to come in here, I'm sure. I'm reading it Puss. Puss. <laughs> That's what I'm reading. Puss. It's Puss. <laughs> Puss is two. Nah, like, right... Like right in the poo. Porygon Z goes no, for not, the nasty fly. Not, not puss. Poo. Poos. Yeah, poo. Poos. Oh, and that plus poo. two goes straight through that uh that cosmic power, but body slant, body press goes into the Porygon Z and takes it out with no problem. Now it's puss versus Clefable. That's an interesting music. It's the most generic one. I just wanted hmm. to use it, and I don't know about Stuart, but I'm sure he just wanted to try it out. Mine was a not that. No, yours was a good set, though. It was a good uh, lead Mew. It, it There's a bunch of Mews out there. It's, in fact, there's probably an infinite Mews. Oh, yeah, there's Dragon Dance sets with Triple how many, how many? It's how many moves in the game to the power of how many moves in the game. Times four. Use that once. <laughs> <laughs> and Clefable oh, yeah. is just going for the moon unaw- pass here. Wait, what? Is that unaware? Is that how that works? Does unaware, it doesn't matter about my stats, does it? No. See, now I fucked up. No, because I tried that last time and they were like, oh, sword power goes through unaware. And I was like, oh, well, that's, that's sus. What goes through unaware? Stored power. Stored power bases off your stats, so it wouldn't it wouldn't go through unaware, but it would still do damage based off your stats. So it would still do more damage. It just wouldn't like it unaware still takes effect into it. Oh well, I guess I just had bad stats on mine. Clefable goes for Psychic. Puss takes it pretty well, and um, let's see what goes on here. Cosmic power just going. This Clefable is so annoying. <laughs> look, at, look at it. Just oh, taking Clef- through the whole thing. Just stomping away. It has to piss. It looks like a little <laughs> kid that's got to eat. Clefable's like, can we end this battle this so I can, I can go take piss. a piss? But it had no. Yeah. Puss is just sitting there. Which one is going to run out of PP first? Door if I crit, it's PG. If I, if I crit, I need a crit. It all comes down to this. So I'm going to stop commentating until a crit happens or something because <laughs> it's just stored, powered, soft boiled, soft boiled, uh, take a hit, take a hit, do something. Crit struggle. Watch him with a crit struggle. <laughs> it, it's a one hit KO if you get crit struggle. She's like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're finally making the progress after uh, five to ten minutes of uh, of back and forth with Fable versus Puss or Puss. Puss, <laughs> I like Puss better. Uh, struggle is just gonna keep going as Puss just uh, what do you call Puss? It? Puss, as, as he just roosts over and over again, waiting for that Komo to come into Draco, whatever the fuck. Oh. What's going to happen now, trainer? Can I get a hoi-ya? Oh, okay. 
Anya. All right, that puss is losing some PP and his stored power. Goodbye, Clefable. But finally takes down the Clefable, and now it's exciting again. <laughs> Sword power, take down the Kamal! Oh, and Kippy doesn't get his win! It's down! It's down! Hey. Apollo goes down! And, uh, sorry that, Jesse, you don't get your... That, that smashes the record, right? That smashes the oh, yeah. record? Oh that's, yeah, that's yeah. the new record, 105. <clears throat> might, oh, I put, might I point out and, that... Uh, so that was all Jesse's fault, by the way, just so you know. So, um... Stuart, now that you have the record for most turns in a single battle versus Jesse, and uh, you get the win yet again, um, what is the mon you are choosing for the next week battle? For the week oh, after? Oh, was that the final? That was the final. <clears throat> yeah, that was the final. You won. Long Shit. awaited. I'm glad I didn't just piss around then. Um, um, hold on, I'll bring out the Kanto dates just so I can... Uh... Have a quick browse. How about Clefable? <laughs> um, we're back. Do... The next two weeks, we're going to would... do the fossils. Uh, if you want to round out the fossils, we can do almost star the, the week after the next two. Nah, hey, almost star is my least favorite. <laughs> Ooh. I heard almost star. Okay, let's go. Almost star. He picked it. I heard it. You guys heard it? I heard no. the word almost star. No. If anything, I'll be doing a baby, but we have to do fully evolved. So I will do. You can do Onyx, technically. <laughs> Don't want to do Onyx, stupid Onyx. Or Kangas gone, because that technically has a baby. A little, little baby. A little doing? baby. What about. Little... What about Porygon? We can do Porygon. So Porygon it is. Are we doing Porygon? After Porygon. The... After the next two fossil right, Pokemons Porygon. go up, Aerodactyl and Kabutop, so we will have Porygon. So next week, stay tuned. We should make it a Little Cup episode. We should make it a Little Cup episode. Uh, well, that's what I was keen on doing, but um, it doesn't matter. We can just do Fully Evolved with Porygon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. We'll, let's do, do it. We'll, we'll, we'll do a let's Little fucking Cup mix episode it up. with Porygon. Stuart's going to get what he fucking wants, all right? God dang it. But uh, tune in next week Long as we do Aerodactyl. And that's it from us, guys. Thank you for listening and watching. Peace out.